Hi. In this New England beer tasting, this can should look familiar. What I have is from Wormtown Brewery. They're out of Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, this is their Underground Series Populence. Double IPA coming in at 8.5% ABV. Now, I'm saying this can should look familiar because Craft Beer Pours did this one like a year ago. Uh, so I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my tasting on it um, and put it through the 50-point the inspection. This is one month old at the time of this video. But it does have some nice can art uh, there. Uh, it's like a gorilla skull or something, but with hops in the eyes and cool. Right, so with that pour, there is a tight white bubbled head. Um, got an orange light above me, kind of. <laughs> uh, the color of the beer itself, it wasn't pouring hazy, but I don't know if that's just the, I think it's just the glass. No, can't be. Yeah, it's got some a little bit of haze to it, I guess. Uh, it's unfiltered and whatever, I believe. Unfiltered yeast sediment is normal. Yeah, okay. So, won't fault it for that. Um, and the aromas. Oh, yeah, the color on it. It's like a dark orange. Deep gold. Um, oh, it's like candied little uh, baby orange slices. A little bit of a dankness in there. Yeah, it has like a, a candy aroma to it though. It smells, smells really good. Uh, let's go ahead and for the uh, first swig. Right, so there is a bitterness that kind of comes on a bit after the initial uh, invitation to the mouth. Uh, is, um, and it, it lingers on, but it's not like super, super high um, or, or like disgustingly bitter. Um, going for some of the flavors I was picking up. Kind of a slight, slight bit of a, a citrusy note, um, blended in with the kind of bready malt note. Um, body on this feels uh, pretty much a medium. I'm gonna have to say. A high medium though. Carbonation's about medium. All right, I'm going to uh, go ahead and write down some of my numbers, and I will be back. All right, so I am back. Um, I do notice as I was kind of drinking on this a little bit, I am kind of uh, getting a, a bit of a pine note mixed in with that, that lingering bitterness as well. Um, but anyways, the appearance, I gave it a full 6 out of 6. Um, it's got the haze, but at least it says that it was unfiltered. And like I said, it started pouring. Like it was going to be very clear, but I think as you get kind of some of the sediment from the bottom, uh, it 
gunked it up a bit. But uh, so full six out of six for parents. The aromas, I was real impressed with the aromas. I really liked the uh, sweet uh, orange slice uh, and a uh, little bit of a dank note in there. I wasn't really picking up on dankness, but there's that pininess that I'm picking up on now at the end. So um, anyways, nine out of 10 for the aroma. Um, the flavors, overall, I mean, I wish that there was a, a bit more flavor um, coming from the hops. Uh, it had like that bit of a citrus and then later on I'm starting to notice as it's warming up a little bit some pine notes just kind of sticking and enhancing that uh, bitterness at the end um, so 15 out of 19 for flavor body I thought was great 5 out of 5 and my overall impression of this one is a 7 out of 10 it's pretty decent uh, this was Wormtown Brewery Hopulence Double IPA. Total score, I'm going to give it 42 out of 50, leaving this at an A minus brew. And uh, yeah, just remember to check out uh, Craft Beer Pours and maybe check out his, uh, his video to this exact beer a year ago. Cheers, guys, and thank you for watching.